Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victory 2. I'm your host, I'm Welcome Lava. And right now, we are looking at the good old country Vietnam, and I forgot that we had a I guess it's Bella against them, Imperialism. I love Imperialism, will give us 0.5 to 2 infamy. And we're about five years before we were able to use this Cassus Bella again, but that's okay. If we fail to achieve it, that'd be pretty darn bad. And we just got one more infamy, which kinda sucks. We're hovering around twenty, which honestly I don't like, but eh, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. Um We'll do the best we can. We'll do the best we can. Oh! Militant socialists? Well that's not good. Luckily, we do have quite a good military here. Oh, you guys could use a little bit more infantry, couldn't you? Uh, let's grab one of you guys then. Ah, oh, French out regulars? Probably not. Hold on. Probably not French out regulars. We probably want f Danish infantry. That's better. Cool. Excellent news. Very good. Um, honestly, the Dutch are looking pretty good down here. A bit too good, I would say. Probably, actually. It's alright, though. Um, I'll probably take out a lot more Dutch land. I don't know. Just right now, I'm just kind of trying to cut down infamy. I'm letting time go on. I mean, our economy is doing just incredibly great. Like... No joke. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly great. German citizens attack in Turkish Social Republic. So, our country citizens have been attacked in the capital of the Turkish Social Republic, an incident spurred on by the different, severe differences between our country's ideology and theirs. The Turkish have been extremely reluctant to admit any involvement in the affair, and our relations have been hurt as a result. Outrageous. We gain infamy. Oh, I don't want to lose infamy. Um, it's unfortunate. I'm going to do that one just because I, I, we can't gain more infamy. Also, um, there was a crisis here in which... France obviously didn't want to release Algeria, but the Turkish Socialist Republic said yes. Happens, so. Um, yeah, and we have some rebels down here, too. I kind of don't mind if they actually take these guys over and maybe unite with Romania, then we can attack Romania, maybe. I think that'd be kind of fun, too. Um, other than that, not much else has really happened. As you can see, the world is looking yeah, pretty normal. Not too much else has really changed here too much, so. Um, and I've been building up a lot of forts because I'm not really sure what else to do, I'll be honest. Like, oh, Cubus here, look at that. Um, I mean, I, we have no tariffs. And I'm not even taxing the middle or upper classes, so I think so far pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty darn good. Look at all those guys at Incidents of Flanders. Uh yeah, we don't agree about that. No, no, that's okay. Fake news. Wow, it's almost impossible. You can't even see the difference here. Oh, that's not good. Kilwa. Where's Kilwa? Is that Africa? Ah, it's over here. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, I'll come back over there. Um no. You you did dirty to us, so we don't we don't care. Bunch of dirty commies. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. And take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Actually, can we just two? No, we cannot. Okay. Lua Prabang, and we'll go up here next. Thank you very much. We'll come and do that one, that one, that one. It. Oh, no, thanks. Nope. No incidents here. No, no, no. Fake news. Fake new Cal Bang. Yes, please. New store. Great. One infamy for taking out the northern Vietnam. I think that's okay. Conveyor belts and ex excavators. With the invention of conveyor belts, excavators, and rock drills, the ability to dig deeper into the mine shafts than ever before. Miners are, mines are slowly being fitted with new and efficient tools to aid the excavation of the slumbering riches below the surface. Mine efficiency has and size have been increased in palatinate on account of this. Excellent. And, nice. Long sun. You know what? That's, that's a long sun. Ah, uh, good. More prestige. Great. Point 8.3. And permanent prestige. Adolf Wagner. Cool. Alright, hopefully they'll peace us out. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Just go and end the war because we can. Because I've got to send some boys home. Ah, it doesn't even change. How great. It literally doesn't even change. Oh, look at that. Oh, sure, why not? There you go. Uh, recruitment map mode. Uh, you guys go there too. Because we technically have one down here in southern Vietnam, but that's okay for now. And what are we going to do here? We're going to put some Vietnamese dudes. Get two Vietnamese dudes. Get a horse dude. Get one. Get two. And grab an engineer. I got Vietnamese army. And then, oh, proclaim a protector over Loatian state. Oh, what's that? Loatians will not be able to stand much against their much larger neighbors. Not without our help. We should approach them and offer our protection. The civilized thing to do, of course. 50% uh, chance to get some infamy. Ah, we didn't get the infamy. Nice. And the German Siamese border treaty. Siam includes within its borders a number of conquered peoples. Loatians, Khmer, Khmer, and Vietnamese. Our recent incident has brought to light an opportunity for us. Demand that Siam release these lands, which we can then incorporate into our own into China holdings or face our wrath. We're here anyways. Ah, we didn't get either. Ah, they've even agreed. Oh, that's so good. They've agreed and we didn't get any infamy. Uh, Kosin Kingdom has bowed before demands. Good relations have been restored. Oh, wise. Wow. Encourage Arab nationalism. Oh, we could probably do that one eventually. Um, Sister Lossies of Incas. Ooh, we still need to do this one. We need the Suez to do that one. It created a Cambodian protectorate. Huh. Also, one of the things... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. We forced them to dismantle themselves, basically. Wean Ch Ch Chahan. 
Also, like, off-screen, I got an event, because we were being sparing Zulu. We could have taken, like, one or two more Infamy, and actually integrated the, the Zulu into our country, into our lands. Or I chose the option to where we lose to Infamy, and we're just going to hang out. So, actually, that's really cool. Um, yeah, that's actually really awesome. I can't believe we just got free territory. Literally just got free territory here. Uh, allow do. Thank you very much. Anything else down here? No. But, oh. Okay, proclaim a uh, protector or elevation state. We didn't get caught again. Nice. Alright, so you guys head on a boat, and we gotta head back over here. And uh, take out some, some of these guys. And now we got military directionism, so we get some gas attack, hopefully. Up next, uh, that would be nice. Synthetic polymers, even more stuff here would be really good. Electrical power generation. Um, I like this stuff too. Social alienation, but we, let's do some mass politics first. That'd be really good. Um, other than that, not really much has been happening. Uh, Thorstein Veblen, so I'm just really just trying to cut down infamy. That's just basically the main thing right now. Just cutting down infamy like like crazy. First structures in Artois, very nice, very nice. And, oh, Rebellion in Bukovina. The Bukovina government has been overthrown, and the rebel government declared themselves free from German rule. Many are calling for a restoration of order, while others are saying that Bukovina is too much trouble. If they want to be free, let them go. Let them go. Oh, look at that. See, that's why I wanted to do this. We actually lose infamy. We get to make Puppet cast his bell eye. Let them go. Let them go. And see, I knew that would happen. They'd immediately do that. We lost one infamy. Overall, we didn't lose anything here. We really didn't. Um, just, and like I said earlier, we're just going to attack them anyways for territory, so I think that'll be okay. Paraguay and Orange. Um, Paraguay turned communist, apparently. And Orange. Why not? Cool. Very nice. Cool. And you know what? I'll just, oh! Oh, we got this day too. Oh, I didn't realize that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, and we got an election, which is fine. Head on in if you yeah, I guess not longer. Alright, good luck, guys. Well, they're there. Um, so yeah, hey, look, we just became the most prestigious nation in the world. And here's a great power list right now. Uh, we're number one. We've, we're way past them. The, they have a bigger military, technically. But our industry is definitely bigger than theirs. And we actually have a little bit more prestige, which is looking pretty good. Followed up far behind with the Russians and the Americans. The French aren't even on here anymore. The French are done. I think I killed them so hard that Spain is now... Considered a major power. You know it's bad when Spain's considered a major power. They're playing all the sides. The UK, the Russians, and the Germans. I mean, Jesus Christ. And the Russians are allied to the British, Finns, Norwegians, Spanish. I do want to take out the Dutch eventually. And some more territory from France. They're a secondary power. That's so sad. So, so sad. Well, I think it's time to go back to the good old Netherlands and get a little bit of Friesland. Sounds kind of nice, right? Kind of nice. They're allied to the Swedish. So we'll see what happens with. But Friesland... Probably pretty good. Uh, well, everyone, ah, everyone looks up. Great. Even the Japanese and Spanish, because why not? Go straight to France, or damn, of course, on him. Zvola. And Sweden has joined the war against us. Oh, Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Oh, why? Oh, there. Oh, well, more. Throw some more guys in then. Alright, so he's actually pretty good. Okay, in defense. Oh, look at it. The enemy's general is actually Antonus Melville of Uncarnby. He's very good on attack. You know what? Screw up. Th three and two. Then we'll throw in more guys. Well, we're still sieging this. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Well, we've lost 47,000 while we killed off 110,000 of them. That is not bad. Lee Warden? Um, I'd rather go the long way, I'll be honest. Just go the long way around. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess we had some rebels here, too. Utrecht, Alstein. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. And the our tiny Italian group here helping us out. We love them. Oh, yeah. And we have our navy, too. It's not that great, but it should suffice for now. Up to 20 transports. Not bad. Um, we have the exact same number of heavy ships. Huh. Lee Walden, not bad. Nope, we don't lose too many sh transport ships. I mean, transport ships are easy to make. North Italian Patriots, not really worried about that at all. Let's see. Oh, good job, guys. Our, our Navy is not that great, I'll be honest. It's really not that great. Um, Let's see. Six, nineteen. Okay, so we lost five. They lost 16. Not bad, not bad. I just wanted to go home, man. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to combine there, so. Um, and Lee Walden. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Are you guys ready to surrender yet? We just cut off all their armies. Not bad. Not great. A place in the sun. Our nation is one of the most prestigious great powers on Earth. From Vienna to the far flung provinces of beyond, our flag flutters proudly in the wind, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who dares oppose us. In celebration of our dominance and just reign, an imperial parade is being planned in Vienna. The question now that poses itself is, should we invite foreign dignitaries to join this joyous occasion? Or shall we simply conclude that no other nation is fit to bask us with us in our place of the sun? Almost your splendor? That's a lot of prestige. 
I don't mind lowering everyone else's prestige, but this is really nice. That's a lot of prestige. That is so good. Um, I'm a little surprised that they're not ready to give up yet. I mean, this is looking really bad here too, but and we have to like modify our armies just a little bit more, just because the rebels rise up, and then we got to throw in more, uh, you know, divisions, which I really don't like about Victoria too, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's just not great, but we're just gonna need a few more guys here. That's all. And yes, I'm making sure that we're not throwing in German guys. Uh, there you go. Should be good enough. Uh, and I'll separate these guys out as time goes on. And by killing off rebels, I mean, it does help us balance out the population a little bit more. We have 46%, well, almost 47% of our population is German, but obviously it's not high enough yet. What's the war score like yet? Uh, 56%, not bad. Um, oh, 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 also, here. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. But some, the Illinois rose up with Iowa and Wisconsin and Michigan to form the new American alliance. The conservative... Oh, they were conservative earlier, now they're the Liberal Party. Now, these guys are socialist. I, I've never seen the new American alliance before, so... Oh, my... Oh, it's disgusting. Why? Tokugawa, Alaska? What? Yeah, okay, I, I knew about the new American alliance thing, but... Why? Also, Uruguay? There's a significant German population down here. 15% about 8% down there. Uh, probably 8% around here, so... Hey, if, as long as we keep bringing people down here and they assimilate, I'm okay with it. Um, not bad. O overall, in Uruguay, we've got about a little, a little more than 10% of the population is German, so I'm feeling pretty good. That's why I take it over. Um, down here, not too bad. Just kind of hanging out, too. And over here, looking pretty good. Pretty darn nice. The Turkish Soldiers probably needs to get dismantled, too, but whatever. You guys are looking not great, but that's just because you have battles around here. I'm more worried about this stuff. Wow, that's a, that's a big... Uh, those are some big groups you got, son. You mind kill them off? Tensions dissipate, that's good. Uh, would you guys like to help out here too? Uh, the Dutch. Whoa, white peace. Do you not realize that we fully see you down? I'm more worried about the rebels that we're just, just getting rid of right now, so. Nice job, guys. Nice job. You need another horse over here. And... You guys look okay. I'll send you back to turn just because we always like having some sort of border here. Um, I guess I'll put right here first. Nihilism in the will. Very cool, very cool. And we will need to build up some more transports, which is totally fine with us. Actually, how much are we spending on the Navy? Eh, we're spending a good amount on the military. Like, this ain't too bad, man. This really ain't too bad. 200,000 just sieging this place down. Well, it's going to be ours now, so. Oh, oh, I should have paused it so we could have gotten a little bit more infamy reduction. That's okay, though. Excellent. Oh, so much for the Swedes doing anything here. So, Oh, the Japanese showed up on Gotland. Or, yeah, wow. Oh, look, they're killing each other. Oh. Huh. Oh, we're allied to them. I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. Sweden, would you want a peace? A uh, peace? Or just peace? I just want your territory, man. I mean, I don't really want to fully siege them down. But at this point, I don't think they can really stay as a, uh, a great power. But, wow. A lot of bureaucrats. Artisans. Oh, well, I guess the fascism was already founded, huh? There it is. Paternalistic. State capitalism. Protectionism. Seems like it's got everything here I really like, except for full citizenship. I love citizenship. Full citizenship, please. Other than that, I mean... That's looking pretty good. And we'll have a lot of Dutch boys joining the army. We'll have to deal with them. I mean, technically the West Indies down here is technically a full state. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem for us to take, but whatever. Because uh, no, one, no one has cores on that, which is kind of surprising. But, regardless, we've got to go to war with more people. Well, how about a new enemy now? Like, we've gone to war with the Dutch the French who are actually trying to take Savoy back from Italy and apparently the Russians are trying to do a war of honor with the Turks um they're probably gonna do pretty well against the Turks just saying because that's a big old border but uh you know I kind of want to see what happens will the Turkish Socialist Republic get dismantled I kind of hope so but we'll see uh but for us right now let's go to war with Romania because I want Moldavia it is properly our land and they take it away from us that they do not deserve you know, I would like to give this back to Russia, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Moldavia, please. Moldavia. Thank you. And that's why I wasn't worried at all about this at all. Earlier. Uh, There's no point to get worried about it, because I knew I, this is exactly what I wanted, so. Exactly as my cat wants to leave the room. My apologies. It just came in, Bink. My apologies about that. Like, before I started recording, he just came in, and he doesn't like my voice, apparently. Oh, so sad. 
Oh, we're fighting the Russians too. Okay, so now that I knew this would happen, so that's why I still have guys over here as well. Um, I don't want to call too many of these guys over, but I'll take in you two as well, because actually the Russians are fighting the British, so we'll see what happens. You know, I don't think they can really put up too much of a fight right now, so that's fine with us. So you guys sit down here. Um, we could risk it. We really could, I suppose. Oh, we're losing. Oh, also, technology-wise, nope. We don't like the British. We have gas defense. We don't have gas attack, though. We've, we've figured out how to defend against a gas attack, but we just... Attacking with gas? Just unsure what that is. Just 100% unsure. So, yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hopefully we do well here. Um, hope we do well up there as well. You guys get down here too. How about just in case? Get rid of all the R R Romanians. I got nothing against Romanians except that they're Romanian, but... Oh, I should not click that too fast because now we don't know how many casualties we've inflicted. Head on over, everyone. Head on over. Oh, we're actually defending there. Nice. Oh, let's take a look here. So, we got a crossing and train, which is really bad. He's good. He's, oh, he's average on attack and defense. This guy's... Pretty good defense, though, so that's not good for us, but we got the numbers on us, and... Well, these guys are gonna die. There you go. Head on over here, too. Nice. Um... Oh! German imperialism in Cambodia. We have a colonial claim in the Cambodia region. That is, in all states in that region. It is most likely an excuse some old ruler passed away, stopping in, fighting, and killing unpaid debts, harassment of German citizens and merchants. No matter the reason, what matters is that we have a new reason to expand German influence in Cambodia's region and bring it into the fold. March to Cambodia. Cool. I don't want to forget that, but I probably will. Honestly, I'm probably going to forget that. i got bigger, more ambitious things to do than worry about the Cambodians. Bucharest. Welcome back to Bucharest. Nice. They all died. Uh, just someone army down there, though. It's fine. Uh, we make no distinction in class, which is very good to do. Thank you very much. And just win. I guess just win. Oh. Like I said, just win. Awesome. Actually, is that Turkish? Uh, that's Turkish down here. That's fine. Tricks are fine. Don't really care. Uh, we need another horse here, though, so... Thank you. Great. Come to Russia, my friends. Awesome, awesome. And they're still going to Karalasi. That's fine. So be it. Whatever. Military hospitals. Better camouflage uniforms. Very, very good. And what is this? These guys are mobilized. 603. I mean, that's still not as big as our score without even mobilizing, but whatever. Um, uh, suppress that. That's fine. Pay them all? No, 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 no stories about pay them all. And now we fully mobilize it, which is fine with us. You need more infantry, so there you go. All right, we cut off ten thousand more. Not bad, not bad, everyone, not bad. You guys go right there, and oh, we actually have three armies here, huh? You're looking okay. Give me one of you guys. You're looking really bad. Go on home, guys. Go on home. Take a nap. Take a nap. Have a good time. We'll we'll, we'll fix you up. Cool. Looking pretty good. Coming to Warsaw. There you go, too. I'm disappointed that I would go to war with the Russians right now. I guess up next is the French, perhaps. Probably, actually. And all of Romania's under us. Uh, oh, Romanian communists. No, we're not going to do that. Don't feel like it. So what is the war score like? 19%? Not bad. Second, uh, French liberation of Savoy. And I was actually looking pretty bad for these guys. Actually, um, they're kind of exchanging blows over there, which is fine. Over here is not looking good. But then again, that's a lot of African territory no one really cares about, to be honest with you. So... <clears throat> That's okay with us. Oh, look at this. What is this? Search for the lost city of the Incas. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? In 1909, of course, returning from the Pan-American Scientific Congress in Santiago, a German historian traveled through Peru and was invited to explore the Inca ruins at Choqueguiru in the Apurimac Valley. Captivated by the old tales of the Inca Empire, he is now organizing an expedition in order to search for the Inca capital, the lost city of the Incas. Founded by Mano Inca, the last emperor mentioned only in the old chronicles, we can contribute to this expedition and help him in his quest by direct funding and by making sure education spending is high. Finding the city will be, bring much renown to the German scientific community. Lose a little bit of money, but what is a little bit of money to a, a nation that is so prosperous? Brostatovsk? Oh yes, please. Of course not. Central Hungary... The Hungarians love us. Just don't ask about how many we've shot in the streets. Ah, Nobel Prize in Chemistry! One of our illustrious scientists have been awarded this year's uh, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. A great honor for the study of chemistry in our nation. I'll be honest, though, like, trying to keep it under 25 infamy is kind of difficult, I'll be honest. Um, I think I'm really looking forward to the time uh, when we, when I just go, like, say, infamy is but a number. Because we're, we're approaching it. Because right now, we're literally only halfway. A little more, slightly more than halfway towards doing all that, so... 
Attacking at this point is a really bad idea, so. Um, oh, did we get, oh, we got more infamy that way. God dang it, I don't like that. Why did HPM change that? I must have changed that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I hate that so much. I don't want to attack the Russians. Do you want to peace out? Actually, can we do anything else here? Oh my goodness, if we achieve that, we get 247. Okay, we're going. We're going full hog on this thing. War is upon us, my friends. The German Empire is in a state of total war with one of the great powers of the world. We shall be victorious. If that's the case, I'm going to send... Uh, I'm not going to send all of you guys. Who, a lot of our guys are looking really beat up, honestly. <laughs> um, you guys are looking okay, though. We made one more transport, and we got another battleship. So let's start blockading them a little bit more. Uh, give me one more army. We'll be fine with one more army, probably. Oh, hello. Just got to keep an eye on where all of our guys are moving. Nice. Troop ships are good. Very nice. Ooh, baby boy. Bullet action rifles, thank you very much. The Shadow of War. Um, I guess we'll ally with them. Uh, I don't want to fight the UK, though. I really don't fight it, so we're okay. The Turks can deal with it themselves. I mean, they're doing okay themselves anyway, so... No need for us to get involved. Oh, hello. Oh, they have a pretty big fleet there. But how many battleships do they actually have? That's my question. And the transports are literally just there to take beatings. Alright. Defense here is one. Uh, just gotta make sure we do this carefully. That's all. Just carefully. You need one horse and one infantry. So, actually, let's put you off. One horse. Uh, you're looking pretty bad. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go, nice. Not great, but hey, it'll work. It'll definitely work. There you go. You know what? Send you here. See what you can do. It's probably a really bad idea to do that, but whatever. Um, send all three of you here. Nope. No worries. Kornilov. Hey, Kornilov. He's not very good in defense. A war to end all wars. Okay. Wait. Morocco. We're at 37%. We'll just death, just death stack it. Just kill them off. Hey, we're number one in military power too. If that's the case, we'll boost it up a little more. We have the funds for it. A shot of war. Wait. Oh, look at that. We actually we only lost one ship, but we sunk 43. Oh, bad boy words. Oh my goodness. Don't mind us. Why? Wait. Why are we allying with the UK here? Um. Alliance with the UK. I want to kill them off. I don't. I hate the UK. Why? I'm not fighting those guys. No, I already said no to the Turks. I'm going to say no to you guys too. I'm sorry, but it's just not in our best interest right now. It really just is not. Okay, we. Okay then. Oh no 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 no. Um, yeah, you guys go there and there, and then, uh, yeah, have a good time, I guess. <clears throat> well, this is definitely... Oh, no, no, let's not go there yet. Let's not go there yet. Oh, boy, that was close. I'll take it off for now. Very nice. Very nice. You guys head over there and go over there, too. Why not? 2,100 loss versus 42,000. I mean... Not bad. 8,200 loss versus 24,000. Okay. Why not? Why not? You know? Why not? Kiev? Chernigov? Hello. Keep him in place. 6,600 versus 13,000. The Dutch American Summit. I still can't believe you lost Illinois. Of all states, that looks really bad. But realistically, it's not that terrible. Alright, boys, let's go in. Oh! Guys. 148 versus 9,000. Can you imagine being that that general and saying, Yeah, we lost 9,000. How did you kill? Like 90. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
Um, don't go around the river that way. Just go up here and do that. That's fine. That You'll be fine. And some more territory for us. Kiev is ours. Great. I'm um, sure Norway. Come on in. We like the Norwegians, don't we? Hey, we found some tanks in 1905. Look at that. We lost about 2,000 versus 16,000-ish men. I mean, pretty good. The motto of the German army cannot be beat. Guys, no, no, no. I said great war dismantlement. Or force the Russian... Oh, we can't do both, though. Oh, you know what we can do? We can do this independently, right? Because... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do this independently first. Uh, actually, any, add any rules? Oh, repeat it. Yeah. Uh, how, how much will this cost us? Oh, 100 already. That's fine. Now, isn't that much more beautiful? I love it. I think this is great. I don't know about you guys, but this is great. I love it. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more taxes, a little more money. Just a little bit. No, no higher tariffs. No higher tariffs. So now this is 70% war score needed to take these guys out, which is great. And we're already at 68. Holy crap. Oh, baby boy. Oh, yes. Oh, we're getting closer, my friends. Getting closer. 20, we lost 5,000, let's say. They lost 28,000 men. Jesus Christ. And our armies aren't looking great. Like, don't get me wrong. They're looking not great right now. They're just not. But it's so many men lost. So many men. Um, Go over here, I guess. Sure, Romania. You can come on through if you really... Oh. You completely cut off access through here. Uh-oh. My bad. <laughs> oh, I love it. What are we making? Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, so we have more enemies now. Serbia. Guys, that... These guys aren't even that good. And I'm going, I know I'm going to make a ma just even a bigger military after this. I'm done. After we're done here, so... But, like... Uh, we have a place called Judenburg, which is like... Is it a Jew city or something like that? Jew, Jew town or something? I don't know. Village? Jew village or something like that? Which it sounds really weird to say, but, you know, I'm like... Oh. Every time I see that, I'm like, oh, that's very odd. Conscript the Italian men. They want to go to war, right? So... It's Hungarians. We love the Hungarians. We're one with the Hungarians. We have a lot more Germans here in Hungarian ter what is traditionally known as Hungarian territory, but okay. We got Ashkenazi. We got Jewish infantry. I think that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Romanians, you just lost the war, so you're going to fight for us now. Because we always need more infantry. They these guys are always the ones who die and rise up, so... Actually, do we have any Poles here? And Polish people, not Poles, like Poles that were girls dance on. I guess guys dance on them too, I suppose, technically as well, but hey. Um, 13,000 versus 32,000. That's all I wanted. We can't get anything else, though. So. They want Su and Sa'ana. Sa'ana, ah. Well, we just beat the, the Russians again. Um. I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little uh, like we need to teach the French a lesson next. Because they're looking a little too big. They took Savoy back, which I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with. I mean, that was, that was an easy case for them to take, so. Other than that, the Dutch, I'm not really too concerned about the Dutch at this point. I might leave one army here in Aachen, or whatever this is called, up there. And leave a couple armies down here. Memel, Allenstein, Seals, but other than that... We're looking pretty good, and, and we'll see very soon what it's going to look like for the Russian Empire as we will dismantle them. And here we have it, my friends. Apparently, we have finally gotten to the point where we dismantled the Russian nation. And Romania looks really sad. But the Ukraine, for some reason, is in the Japanese sphere. I don't understand, but we do have the option to create the Baltic states. Uniting the Baltic nations under a single flag as a puppet to our nation will make for a much stronger ally. If you do look at that up here. We have Lat uh, Lithuania, not Latvia. Lithuania. We have Latvia. And we have Estonia, but I prefer a single union. Now that's not bad. Even though Lithuania... Eh, hmm. That's not bad. I don't mind him in our sphere. But, I don't know. Leven's realm sounds a lot more... Fun. Hello there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe we can do something with them. Um, hmm. I don't know. An alliance with these guys? That might be a bit too much. I think direct rule from Berlin is probably more like it. Other than that, we'd still have the Crimea here. Oh, they're in spirit. Which, mm, I don't, I don't care about. We can actually do that. That's fine with us. You know what? You guys can have an alliance. Also, we have Georgia down here. We have Armenia. We have Azerbaijan. 
And the Turkish Socialist Republic didn't really lose too much. Um, they just lost territory down here. So, Sud and I guess Sa'an, Sana'a. Oh, we have Turkmenistan over there. We've got the Russian Empire. So, Kazakhstan's out, which is really cool. The primitive nation, of course. And then, the Japanese took Primori. Primori. Where's the Moor? I guess the Moor is like right here. I don't know. Just, I, I'm literally doing this right after the war's been won. Oh, yeah, we can go to war with you guys, too. Oh, well. I guess earlier we were able to... Oh, you guys? No, no. Well, how about you guys? No? Okay, well, I just wanted to show you the effect of dismantling the Russian nation, as they're still paying a lot of war indemnities, but that's okay with us, just because, uh, well, oh, Finland. Oh, you know what? Let's get Finland, too. Oh, we have peace with them. That's not good. But yeah, I just want to show you what, what this was like, and hopefully we get some more events regarding this, and maybe we can take out Lithuania eventually, because we're trying to basically, at this point, trying to create a Kaiserreich. And now, everyone, actually, I just made Koken China a literal state of the German Empire, which, you know what? I wonder if we'll actually be forced to go to war with Japan if we take them out. But just because we do have the declared war built in here, so... Ooh, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Mm. The Japanese... You know what, let's call in our allies. We'll see what happens. This way, we're pretty much guaranteed that the Japanese won't fight us, right? Cool. Awesome, awesome. And we have 20.8 infamy, and even though it's not a great army, we just eliminated them all. Yay! We're making a lot of money here. We're making loads of money. Actually, uh, you know, we beat Russia so hard, they're our ally now. They're literally our ally. So, yeah. I'm not sure what to say about that, but it is what it is, I guess. And, of course, we need more territory. Also, Saigon has a notable German minority. 9% of the population here in Saigon is German. Oh, people are leaving, too. Um, Actually, let's go look here real quick. So, Koken China. It is about... 8... 13% German. Look at that, that's kind of impressive. Khmer, Vietnamese, Asia Minor. Um, no assimilation, of course, but that's okay. Uh, that's actually really cool. I think that's really cool, at least at least I do. So, um, Hopefully we went here and annexed them and have a good old time, and expedition returns without success. A national expedition to the reach of the South Pole has returned without success, but they have great hope that another expedition will succeed. Me too. I have great hopes. Um, here, since we're here anyways, go and do that. Lose all our money and uh, build up a lot of industry because the 4,000, 4,100 industrial score, no one can really beat us at this point except for the British, which we don't like the British here, obviously, because their score is about 4,700 while ours is 6666. Six, six, six. Well, actually, we skipped six, we went to seven. Oh, hello. Oh, did they take that over? Oh, we've rebels down here. It's so hard to see. It's so hard to see, man. Also, we've been uh, improving and trying to get more subsidies here, so. Um, I've gotten down, actually no, I've gotten good pensions. I've gone all the way down here because this one's not super important to get, but it's still important, you know, on a, on a list to get, just because you get plus 0 0.01 population growth. It's not extremely important, but it's still okay to get, and good to get. Um, we are giving people some degree of social spending, a slight amount of unemployment, really for pensions for these old people here. So, I might try to turn the German Empire into the Florida of great powers. Ooh, and we just finished off economic responsibility, government interventionism. That might be bad. Let's, I do want to lower the cost of everything here. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, maybe, uh, arc furnaces. When is this? 1915. Uh, shrinkage, coal out of output. Uh, RG off. Uh, let's do this one. Why not? Shift work. Why not? Shift work sounds like fun, right? Cool. But yeah, overall, this campaign. I'm not sure how much long this campaign will last, but the new Russian order. Well, there goes their ally. Now that's very nice. And because of that, we can actually throw more guys on here. So it's 3-3. Three, three. Let's go with another cannon. We can get tanks, but I don't think we have that many tank factors yet. Two cannons. And one infantry. And that's all we can do right now, which is totally fine. Uh, we can buy anything else here. Go with one, go with one, and go with another infantry just in case. Um, I love how... <sighs> that's just a swastika. It's just a Russian flag with a swastika. These guys were enemies earlier on. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think they're going to stay fascist for very long, I'll be honest. Uh, uh, okay, but now we can go to war with other people, so we will very soon. How's America looking? Oh, that, that free... That one Illinois group died. Okay. Man, you, I swear to god, Vicky 2 is so weird. It's just so weird, but that's why we love it. And Ireland exists. See, look at that. Look at that. Now, this is a little bit probably overkill, but Poland... I might have just decided to go to war with Poland for the breast. Just literally for breasts, that's it. Just breasts. I don't want to call anyone else then. Um, Poland, I don't know. Do the Polish deserve independence in this campaign? Maybe. 
but you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, they're dying. Um, von Boom and Moly. He's really good on attack. Holy crap. So, my apologies to the Poles, but it is what it is, you know. Armenia, Turkish Social Republic. Oh, what else do we have here? Armenia, huh? Um, Armenia. Are you? There you are. Very good. Also, yeah, the, the Russians turned. Oh, no, I was going to tell. Soviet. The very Soviet feeling right now. Their ideologies, man, are just all over the place. There are less socialists in the Soviet Union than there are in Germany. Look at that. Look how socialist they are. Jesus Christ. Um, we got a lot of Cossack nationalists over there. Or they do. Not us, obviously. But direct current, very good. We're just trying to improve our industry right now. Like, we basically won the game already. Like, I'll be honest. Like, we basically already won. We just killed off 117,000 poles. Jesus Christ. Up though, we'll get this one done. Then we'll annex them next. And we'll probably go to war with uh, Belarus just because we can. I just wanted to eat the territory. Eat, 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 eat. The clan of the Western Lost Generation. Very cool. Consciousness to non-colonial. That's fine, fine, fine. And after this war, how many... Well, actually, right now, how many people do we have in our country? Uh, about 280 million. Is that all? Thank you very much for your rest. We love it. So, we all we took for that one simple war was this. Literal state. That's it. Literally just one state. But that's okay, because we'll go to war with those guys next. And we'll have a good time doing so, as we're struggling to make another army. But I did want to show you the culture map. Well, not really much has changed. Um... Prussia looks a lot more German. It's not fully German yet, but we're working on it down here. Uh, Breslau area is looking fairly Polish. Um, down here, it's still pretty much the same. We actually have quite a good amount of minorities, of a uh, good chunk of South Germans over here. Uh, obviously, France is still very French. Um, but hey, we're working on stuff. And also, well, that's almost half German. Look at that. And just a notable amount of Germans down here and here and here as well, like I said earlier. Um, and I've been really keeping an eye on Saigon, because eventually we might get some more down here. But... That's okay, we'll see in due time. Well, I wanted to go to war with Belarus, and we are, but... Uh, apparently the only place we can take is Pinsk. Just because... It is what it is, I guess. Oh well, that's okay with us. Um, Moldova will not accept the call to arms. Neither will the Turkish Socialist Republic or the Soviet Union, so... I think we'll be okay by ourselves. I mean, I can't imagine their attack to be too high. I could be very wrong about that. Level 1 attack, you guys have plus 5 attack, so... Taking Pinsk and having it isolated is going to be kind of weird, but then again, I'm going to attack Lithuania next, which should be a full conquest of the region, so we'll see what happens with them, but it should make it pretty easy for us. We also have 11,000 people, but I think we're doing okay. Cool. Oh, and we also finished up some technology as well. Oh, African Farms and Mines, that's what we got. And that one too. Yes, more naval organization, please. That would be super, super important for us. Thank you very much. Battle of Gorodno. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there you go. Cool. As we're trying to make more armies of stuff and stuff like that as well, uh, let them let them consolidate for now. As long as we get this kind of done and dusted with, we'll kind of be okay. And they're going to attack us. Oh, wow, we're killing a lot of them off, aren't we? At this point, it's just bowling Eastern Europe, so it is what it is, of course. Can you guys actually do well there? Oh well, now they threw in a lot of guys there. Let's see what happens. Um, well, I guess we're gassing them. That definitely helps out. Uh, you just hang out. Just hang out. It'll be fine. Brest-Litovsk would be very cool. And, oh, wow. We killed 118,000 off. Holy crap. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Cool. More prestige. More naval organization is very, very good. Yeah, this campaign did not turn out the way I, I imagined it would, so. War games would be very good. Yeah. Never thought I'd be imagining playing as Austria. Going, making the German Empire. To, uh, destroying hundreds of thousands of Belarusians in 1990. 1911. Um, sure. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I don't want to click too early on that one. They, they like to, to trick you. They say, oh, maybe you want a piece out? Oh, totally, we'll give you what you want. Ha, ah, white piece. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And, okay. Socialists are breaking alliances with each other? Well, that's fine with us. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, they're rebels. Polish patriots. So, nice job, guys. Mm, nah, actually, you guys go there. You guys go there. Cool. There you go. We should be able to peace out now. It's not that worth that much. There you go. 100 score. Now that is really, really disgusting. I'm not sure how we're going to move through here. Odds are we're not. 
So up next, we're going to go to war with the Lithuanians because we love the Lithuanians. But we can do African farms and mines. Steam and combustion engines as well as electricity and railways are promoting nothing short of a revolution in central pla certain places of Africa. New places are cleared for bigger plantations and mines are expanded with unprecedented speed. With proper incentive, we can speed this up this process in a few key areas, greatly expanding the size of our farms and mines in Africa. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And here we are, everyone, in which I think this will be the final thing we do for this episode is go to war with the French once again. Now, I think this time, what do we want from them? Because they are considered a great power, once again, they're sixth in the world. Um, just looking wise, it looks like probably Picardy would probably be the best. You know, it's only three tiles. It's a lot of people there. There's definitely a lot of people. Um, that would probably be the for the best. I mean, we could take, like, Morocco, maybe, but, meh. Also, Benin did liberate themselves, but we did get one less infamy because of that, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, so. Uh, anything else over here? Not really too much. Nothing has really happened too major off-screen. Um, like normal, the Soviet Union, the communists right now. Literal communists, but they have a lot of socialist revolutions and fascists and reactionaries and... Russia's a mess. Russia's just... just just a mess, so. Um, we're looking pretty good here, too. You know, I would like to take these guys out eventually, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and take Picardy, because it looks too much like it's juting into us. Picardy, thank you very much. Yeah, we can call it our allies. Pretty much everyone will accept. Yeah, they will. Including the Soviet Union, so go figure. Now, we could attack them right here. They do have low organization, which does encourage me to want to go attack them. So, we'll do that first. And then, as you can see, like, our armies are just pretty much ready to go. So, why not? Just go straight on in. And we do have a navy here, too. Uh, we, that's not a great navy, but it'll work. And we instantly lost 8,000 people. Uh, Von Baden, uh, he's actually no, no, no skill in defense. Oh, Portugal looks like they changed a little bit. So, all right, not bad, not bad. Oh, with some horses, look at that. Cool, got off quite a few people. Uh, Rouen, thank you. Come over here next, awesome. And we're butchering them. Let's see. All right, let's see what we can do over there, and over there, and over there, and then over there, or something like that, cool. And they're out of organization, which is beautiful. I don't really want to attack, but yeah, he's not really got a good attack yet, so let's wait. Let's just wait a little bit. Oh, they're attacking us. We lost a lot of people here, which is not pretty good. Come back over here and just kind of defend, because attacking is kind of suicidal right now. So you can do that, and you can head down here. See what you can do. A lot of guys right there. That's nice, nice, nice. Hey, look, our ships have arrived. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, boy. He's pretty good on attack. Okay, on defense. And this guy's really good on defense, so. Naval organization. We're improving our navy because... The next episode will might be the last one, just because there's not a whole lot going on, and I don't want to go over the infamy limit too much, but I do want to destroy the UK. I want to destroy the UK. Very badly. Incredibly badly. Also, I forgot about these guys. Oh. That's pretty good. Head on over here, too, guys. Head on over here. Um, that's not looking great. That's okay. You guys are doing okay over around here-ish. Ah, oh, you're still fine here. That's fine. Get up here, too. Ah, oh, minus 75,000 is pretty good. Melun, yes, yes. Big casualties, my friends. Shates. Uh, how many, uh, you yeah, actually might be able to do well. Oh, wait, what are you going to? Well, Paris is ours now. Nice. Hmm. Are you going to attack? Yes, you are. So they're heading up to Mekong. Oh, they, they avoided us. Okay. Cool. Not for long, though. Not for long. Very much not for long at all. That's looking good. Uh, we're taking them over here, which might be a... Not a bad thing. We lost a lot of guys, and we're losing a lot of guys. I mean, attacking, like I said, is really bad, but still. Um, all right, not bad. Pretty good. Head on in if you want. Uh, industrial production investments, very good. And the Spanish are doing well. They are dying. Cool. I mean, it looks like they've sent the entire army against us. Like, their score is 115. Well mobilized. That's not very good. So we'll give you an out. Would you like to? Yes. They would like to get rid of peace. Alright, um, actually, uh, I'd love to do that, but that 38 plus 70 is over 110, so we can't really do that, so let's go to peace immediately. And hey, it's looking a little better, not that much better, but I don't really think France can really put up any more fights. Obviously, that last war that we literally just had here, pretty darn costly, but hey, it is what it is. But I think this will be the end of the episode, because I've been playing this for like three hours off screen, just because there's just so much time needed to, you know, just kind of spend doing this stuff, so. Um, hey, if you enjoyed it do leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i guess i will see you tomorrow when we will have built up our navy even more 
to get ready to invade the UK and destroy them as a global hegemon and probably take out Poland and Lithuania. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.